Hi everyone and welcome to our first Living Proof video. Uh, my name is John Arts with the Arthur Companies and I am the agronomist at our Page location. Um, today we're in a wheat field northwest of Page, North Dakota. The variety we have out here today is Westbred 9590. This is a fairly popular hybrid in the area due to its high-end yield potential, protein content, and standability. This field was planted about two weeks ago and is currently at the one leaf growth stage. What is one thing that comes to a farmer's mind once the crop is in the ground? Spraying. When should we be spraying? Well, right now is the perfect time to be out in your fields scouting for early emerging weeds. Being able to identify weeds early is the key to keeping your fields clean throughout the growing season. So today I'm gonna to cover some of the more common weeds in the area, uh, some of the more problematic weeds in wheat, uh, the importance of herbicide timing in wheat, and what uh, is going to be the best herbicide to spray on this current field. Some of the more common broadleaf weeds in the area are common ragweed, lamb's quarter, redroot pigweed, and water ham. Some of the more common grass weeds we see in this area are green and yellow foxtail, quack grass. So grass weeds can be a little more tricky to control in wheat since they share the same characteristics. One weed we need to really watch out for in wheat is wild oat. One easy way to distinguish wild oat is its leaves curl counterclockwise. Studies have shown that one wild oat plant per square foot can reduce wheat yields up to 6%. Wild oat isn't as common as some of the foxtails in the area, but there are some hot spots where wild oat is present. Wild oat favors cool soil temperatures for germination. And what kind of a spring have we been having? A cool and wet spring. So be on the lookout for wild oat in your fields. And how do we control these weeds effectively? By identifying them early and applying a proper herbicide in a timely manner. One of the more common questions that I get is when should I be spraying my wheat? It's at such and such stage. Well, while spraying post herbicides, it is important to know what stage the crop is at because some herbicides can only be sprayed in a certain time frame. In order to get good coverage on the weeds, you'll want to make your application before the canopy closes. However, the growth stage of your wheat is not what you should be basing your application timing on. What you should be focused on is the size of the weeds in your field. If you let the weeds grow big and establish themselves, you're going to have issues keeping your field clean. For the best weed control, I would target the weeds when they are two inches or less. Once you know what weeds are in your field, now you must select the most effective herbicide for your field. For grass and broadleaf control, my go-to is Husky Complete or Wolverine Advanced. If grass weeds are the main threat in your field, I would spray Varro and come back with a Husky a week later if there are some broad leaves. By spraying Varro alone, you will get a better control on grasses because there is less antagonism in the mixture. This means you don't have the broadleaf chemical competing with the grass chemical. Thankfully, Husky Complete and Wolverine Advanced do a pretty good job at controlling the more common weeds in the area. This field that I'm in today has common ragweed, lamb's quarter, red root pigweed, and foxtail. Uh, so based off what weeds are in this field, we'll be applying Husky Complete when we have favorable conditions. Well folks, that's all I have for you in today's segment. Uh, stay tuned to our social media pages as we'll be providing you with weekly updates throughout the summer. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your week.